Welcome to Parix USA Academy. In this segment, we will demonstrate five different methods of applying exterior stucco color coat to create a range of popular textures and finishes. To begin, gather the following Parix USA materials and tools as shown here. Parex USA cement finishes provide a lasting, durable finish over all Parex USA stucco base coats or Parex USA stucco level coat. Parex USA cement finishes are integrally colored with fade resistant pigments and are economical because they're low maintenance. Product is available in 1620 and 2030 aggregates. Both aggregate textures are available in premix or tint base 100 and 200 for use with Parex USA color packs. Prior to applying cement finish, the Portland cement base coat must be dampened with clean water to control and equalize suction. Allow the surface moisture to dissipate prior to the application of the cement finish. Note, the cement finish should be applied approximately 1 8 of an inch thick. For a sand float texture, one, trowel on a finish coat covering the base coat, and then double back with a second application. Sand float 1620 mix is to be made with a relatively coarser aggregate. Two, using circular motion, rub the surface with sponge float to achieve a uniform pattern, bringing sand particles to the surface to the desired or approved finish level. An absolute minimum of water should be used in floating. To create a skip trowel texture, one, trowel or float, applying an even coat completely covering the base coat and sponge float the surface with circular motions to a uniform float finish level. Two, allow the first application background to set, although prior to it drying out, Apply a small amount of the same material over the floated background using the skip trowel method to the desired finish as shown here. 3. Level, then lightly trowel over the entire area, knocking it down or lightly flattening it out using random strokes of the trowel. For cat faces, follow this suggested application procedure. 1. Trowel, float, or dash on a first coat to completely cover the base. Two, apply a second coat and steel trowel to a smooth finish, leaving the first coat exposed in the design specified. Note, an accelerator can be used in the first coat if it's desired. Smooth finishes are subjected to moderate cracking. Also, burn lines and color modeling can be expected. For a heavy dash style texture, one, Apply a first stucco coat to cover the base coat and produce complete color coverage. Two, correct imperfections by filling and or scraping. Allow it to dry prior to applying the second texture coat. During periods of cool temperatures and or high humidity, it is recommended that one full day be allowed between coats. Three, Apply a second dash coat for texture depth and uniformity when the first coat is dry and when the mortar has a relatively stiff consistency. Note, use less atomizing air at the gun nozzle and a lower water ratio of the plaster. For a Santa Barbara Mission finish texture, follow this suggested application procedure. One, apply brown coat with a rounded trowel, creating undulation in the brown coat. Two. When applying the finish, trowel, float, or dash on a first coat to completely cover the base. Apply the second coat and steel trowel to a smooth finish, leaving minor tool marks and open areas. Keep in mind, smooth finishes like Santa Barbara Mission Finish are subjected to moderate cracking. Additionally, burn lines and color modeling can be expected. That's all for this session. In addition to this video, Please review the installation instructions on the Parex USA data sheets. Additional resources, such as the Stucco Application Guide and technical support, are always available at www.parexusa.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time at Parex USA Academy.